In heaven, we give you thanks. You are good. Your mercies are forever. We give you thanks for the opportunity that you give us. And we have, we are united as a church, as your people. We ask, O Lord, that we, can, that we can edify our lives in your humility, in your meekness, in your patience, O Lord, and above all, in your love. Padre Celestial, bendice Heavenly a Father, mis hermanos, hermanas, que bless están each brother and sister here. Tú conoces las dificultades y los problemas que ellos puedan estar. You know the problem difficulties that they would go through. Te pido que ellos puedan sentir tu presencia. I pray that they would feel your presence. Que tú estás ahí. You are there. Que tú, Señor, that eres you, Lord, la fuente de vida. The fountain of life. La fuente de vida eterna. Fountain of eternal life. Te pedimos que tu Santo Espíritu, Señor, esté tocando nuestras mentes. I ask that your Holy Spirit be touching our minds. Que podamos estar atentos, Señor, al mensaje que tienes para nosotros. That we'll be attentive to the message you have for us. Pero sobre todo, Señor, que toque nuestro corazón. That you would touch our hearts. Que podamos ser sensibles, Señor, a Where we could be sensible to your Spirit. Te lo pedimos en Cristo Jesús. We ask you in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Le doy gracias a Dios. I'm thankful to God. Por la oportunidad de estar aquí con ustedes. For the opportunity to be here with you. De ustedes creen que Dios hace milagros? How many of you believe that uh, God can do miracles? Pues Dios está haciendo muchos milagros en God. su iglesia, tanto en el ministerio hispano como en el ministerio. God is doing a miracle not only in the, this church, in his, but also in the Hispanic ministry. Pero sobre todo Dios está haciendo un milagro grande esta mañana. But God is doing a miracle this morning. Y esta es la segunda o tercera tercera oportunidad que he sido invitado después de 12 años. This is the, my third opportunity to do y this. Es un gozo After 12 para years, it's a great joy. Y yo creo que Dios hace milagros. And we believe that Él God does miracles. Él mueve personas, circunstancias. Trae a mi hermano Edgar. He brings brother Edgar. Para darnos la oportunidad de to give us this opportunity. Traducir Translate. y tener la ese eh, momento que Dios nos da para poder compartir la palabra de Dios con we can ustedes. Able to have to share the word of God. Y espero que no sea la última vez. I hope it's not the last sino time. que sea la primera de muchas más. Amén. Dios hace milagros. Many more times. Dios hace milagros. Does God do, mir does do miracles? Yes. Y quiero decirle a mi hermano Edgar. I want to tell my brother Edgar. Que al igual que él, el Señor the también estuvo thing. orando en mi vida a través de sueños. And God has also Sueños worked with me through dreams que me a sus pies. that led me to Christ as well. Amen. Así Amen. Que gracias, mi Edgar. Y Thank you, esta, Edgar. Esta mañana, This morning, I would este like to share this message that God has put in my heart. Y el de ese the title es, of this message la unidad dentro del cuerpo de Cristo. La unidad the, the unity de la within the body of Christ. The unity la within unidad the church. Dentro del pueblo de Dios. Unity within la God's people. De los hijos, los cristianos. Unity among those of us who are Christians. Como cristianos, todos somos parte de una misma familia, ¿verdad? As Christians, we are part of the same family. A una familia. Y pertenecemos a esta familia we belong to the family because we are united in, in faith, Jesus. the faith in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Pero sabes qué? But you know what? A pesar de este vínculo común que tenemos como Even though we Dios, have this unity, this, this connection, a menudo nos encontramos divididos. Often we are divided. Por diferencias. Because of our differences. Diferencias quizás de opiniones. It may be just differences of opinion. Diferencias en el aspecto social. It may be a social. Educación. It could be vocational. Cultural. It could be cultural. Quizás en la tradición. It could be in tradition. Y como nosotros nos podemos imaginar, esto Because puede generar imagine, conflicto. This, would, this can cause conflict. Puede ser la fuente de malentendidos. It could be uh, cause uh, misunderstandings. La falta de amor, por ejemplo. The lack of love could also happen. Y compasión hacia las personas que And Dios compassion ha puesto others that God has put in our lives. Alcance. Y sobre todo, above all, 
¿Sabes qué? Hacernos menos efectivos para el servicio. We are less effective to serve God. Así que esta mañana, mis hermanos, so quiero compartir morning, con ustedes brothers and sisters, I want to share with you cinco principios espirituales que la palabra de Dios nos enseña from the word of God, y que si los aplicamos en nuestra vida diaria, we apply this, yo estoy más que convencido I am more than convinced, que nos van a ayudar a mantener help nuestra us unidad our unity, y sobre todo ser más efectivos en ¿Cuántos de los que estamos aquí How many of you here, queremos servir we want to serve 100%. Darle toda nuestra vida, nuestro tiempo, we want to give all our time, all our, all our effort. Yo creo que todos nosotros. I think all of us. Así que le pido a I nuestro Señor que a través del Espíritu Santo that through the Holy Spirit he will be touching our lives, our hearts su palabra. as we expo ex explain our word, the word of God. Y el primer principio espiritual the first principle es el it's the following. La unidad Unity nos capacita para servir a Dios. To serve God. La unidad nos capacita. Si nosotros queremos Unity servir al Señor, us. tenemos que estar unidos. If we want to serve, we could be, we have to be united. Mira lo que dice Salmo 133. Look what it says in Psalm 133. ¿Cuántos de ustedes han leído este hermoso Salmo? How many of you have read this Psalm before? ¿Cuántos hemos leído este Salmo? 133. Psalm 103. How many of you have read it? La palabra del Señor dice así. The word of God says this. Mirad cuán bueno y cuán delicioso dice es habitar los hermanos juntos en armonía. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in es unity. Es como el buen óleo sobre like the la precious cabeza, oil upon the head. El cual desciende sobre la barba. Running down on the beard. La barba de Aarón. The beard of Aaron. Y baja hasta el Running down on the edge figuras. of his garments. Es como el rocío de like Hermón. It is like the dew of Hermon. Que desciende sobre los montes. upon the mountains of Zion. Porque allí But there the Lord commanded the blessing. Life forevermore. Hermoso. It's wonderful. In these verses, al we see the psalmist expressing his joy and wonder in the beauty of unity within God's people. De Dios. ¿Y sabes qué? You Cuando know what? We observe and we meditate in these verses. Versículos, Podemos ver que el salmista lo compara con dos cosas. La things. unidad del pueblo de Dios con the dos anointing, cosas. The unity, el aceite de la unción que se derramó sobre la cabeza de Aarón y el rocío que desciende sobre los montes upon de Sion. The of Sion. En primer lugar, el aceite First de la unción that the anointing oil was a symbol, es un símbolo de la bendición y el favor de Dios sobre su pueblo. En favor de los se usaba para consagrar a los sacerdotes y después a los reyes, apart, pero los apartaba también para el servicio santo them, a nuestro Dios. Them to service to God. Cuando se derramaba el aceite When sobre la cabeza de Aarón, Aaron, head, imagínense ustedes, just imagine that. el aceite se derramaba, it fluía down his beard sobre su barba and his garments. y sobre sus vestiduras. Symbolizando el derramamiento de las bendiciones de Dios sobre su pueblo. De la misma manera, cuando estamos unidos en Cristo, las bendiciones de Dios fluyen libremente entre nosotros. Las bendiciones de Dios fluyen libremente entre nosotros. Y somos apartados para su santo propósito. 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 Para la misión que él tiene para nosotros. Como iglesia. Como familia. Como familia. Como familia. Como familia. Como familia. Como familia. Pero también como individuo. Pero también individualmente. En segundo lugar, Secondly, el rocío desciende, dice, they sobre say, los montes de Sion. It would also flow down in the mountains of Zion. Dice, era un símbolo de la provisión y del sustento de Dios. It was a symbol of God's pueblo. provision and sustenance for His people. Las montañas de Sion the eran un lugar de refugio, eran un lugar de seguridad and para el pueblo de Dios. Y el rocío and que descendía sobre ellos them, les proporcionaba, como ustedes pueden imaginar, el agua survive. que necesitaban. Para sobrevivir. De la misma manera, mis hermanos. Same thing, my brothers and sisters. Cuando estamos unidos en Cristo. We're united in Christ. Somos sostenidos y fortalecidos por el Espíritu Santo. Quien nos va a proporcionar el alimento espiritual que necesitamos para crecer, que necesitamos para florecer, que necesitamos para prosperar. To prosper. Cuando llegué aquí. When I arrived here. A este lugar del estilo. 
It is part of the study. Me acordé de este hombre de Dios, I remember Ray this Stedman. man of God, Ray Steadman. ¿Cuántos de ustedes han leído a Ray Steadman? Have you read? How many of you have read a Ray Steadman? Muchas personas lo consideran como uno de los mejores pastores y expositores. Many people, pastores, they expositores think of him as one of the best pastors de la palabra de Dios del siglo and teachers XX. of the word of God. Y él decía lo siguiente. And he would say the following. El Antiguo Testamento nos the Old prepara, Testament prepares us prepara nuestros corazones para poder entender so las grandes las grandes doctrinas del Nuevo Testamento. The great doctrines of the New Testament. Pero había una cosa muy grande de este hombre. Cuando But one great thing about this man. Era un hombre que usaba mucha It was a man that he used, la observación. Uh, he used observation a lot. La reflexión. Reflection. La meditación. De la meditation of the Word of God. Vivimos tiempos en los cuales we live in times hemos dividido a la sociedad en dos we have divided our society into two, in two groups los extrovertidos the extroverts y los introvertidos and the introverts y nos gozamos y nos alegramos cuando vemos personas extrovertidas and we are happy we see people that are extroverts hablan, they talk to you esto y lo otro, they say no this and that quizás, de relacionarse they con don't have fear relating to other people de aquellas personas but we We just kind of separate ourselves from them. Pero nos algo de esa But we also see something great. Como lo dice este hermano, As Ray Stedman, this man says, Ray Stedman, son personas they are people de mucha of, who observe a lot. De mucha a lot of reflection. Una de las que me he hecho a question that I've asked myself ¿Cómo sería el mundo? ¿Cómo sería nuestra How would the world sociedad? be si nuestros líderes if our leaders fueran más introvertidos? If they were a little more introverted, si nuestros líderes fueran más if our, reflexivos, if our leaders were, were si more nuestros reflective, líderes tuvieran la oportunidad if our leaders had the opportunity, el don del Espíritu Santo de poder observar, the Holy Spirit, to be able to observe, de poder meditar más, to be able to meditate more, to have more patience, de Dios. to seek God's will. But, coming back to the topic, so why is it important? We have said it. We are blessed. Somos apartados para la obra de Dios. Apart for God's work. Pero también somos fortalecidos, somos nutridos. Nourished. Y esto nos anima, hermanos, y nos capacita para crecer y prosperar. To grow and prosper. Para florecer. To flourish. Como iglesia. As a church. Como hogares, como familia. As a family. Como iglesia. As a member. Estamos pasando por tiempos difíciles. We are going through difficult times. No solamente aquí en Eshu, not only here, sino en muchas, muchas congregaciones. but a lot of congregations. La pregunta, the me question is, that we, I ask myself this, what is Por supuesto, hay muchas, muchos factores. There are several factors of why this is happening, Pero yo creo que muchas iglesias but I believe many churches, no están practicando la unidad. they are not practicing sí. unity. Aquí el But here the psalmist tells us que la del de Dios the unity among God's people nos da esa esa gives us that capacity, that strength para to grow, para to prosper. Para el deseo de mi That's the desire of my heart. All of us. That we, through the Holy Spirit, este deseo, we have the desire de la to maintain this unity. Pero hay algo más. There's something more. La unidad es importante porque unity refleja is important la naturaleza de because Dios it reflects mismo. the nature of God. We'll know that God is one. Amen? Y el Pablo, Paul y says, cinco, uno, in verse 5 says, Sed pues de Dios. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 1 says, Be imitators of God amados. as children of God. ¿verdad? Dios es uno. If God is one, Como hijos amados, que as children, beloved children, we need to ser uno. we need to be united. En Juan, 17, John 20, chapter 17, 21, verse 20 and 21, we're going to read what our Lord said. Él nos dice, 
when he prayed. I do not ask for these only, but also to those sino también por los que han de creer por mí por la palabra word. de ellos él está rogando también por, por nosotros he was praying for us por la iglesia for the church esos días para que todos sean but they all may be one como tú oh just padre, as you father are in me que también and ellos sean uno en nosotros para que el mundo y aquí viene el, so el propósito para que el mundo crea que tú me enviaste. You have sent me. Y hermano, That's escúcheme bien. Cuando estamos unidos en When Cristo, vamos Christ, a reflejar la unidad del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Son Santo. ¿Y sabes qué? You know el mundo verá el amor de Dios en nosotros y el mundo creerá. Amén. Amén. Hay muchas iglesias, There are a lot of churches, muchos hombres que tratan de men, desarrollar diferentes métodos. ¿Cómo they try to develop different methods almas? to reach souls. Aquí encontramos, hermano, una gran If we have a one, que cuando la iglesia es truth, una, when the church is one, el mundo va a creer. The world will believe. Cuando la iglesia es una, when the church is one, muchas united, almas van a venir a los cielos. Many souls will come to Christ. Amen. Amen. Es por eso que en el ministerio It's hispano, interesting that the Hispanic ministry, servidor, where Your servant. Hemos introducido este este lema. We have introduced this. Frecuentemente. This theme. Lo decimos. We often say una this. Una iglesia unida. A church that's united. Una iglesia. It's a church. Que avanza. Que una iglesia unida. Moves forward. That advances. Es una iglesia que proclama el glorioso evangelio de Dios. A church that is united. That proclaims the glorious gospel of God. Una iglesia unida. A church that's united es una iglesia que trae gloria al nombre de nuestro brings Dios, glory todo poderoso. To, to God Almighty. Una iglesia unida. A church that's united. Es una iglesia que hace it's, temblar it's las rodillas would, del mismo enemigo. That would makes the enemy tremble. Es el deseo de mi corazón. That is my desire. Que eso. That that would be true. Sea este tipo. Would be this church would be una that iglesia. type of church. Hermanos, una iglesia unida nos capacita. Brothers and sisters, our unity helps us or prepares us to serve. Pero, basado en lo que hasta ahora hemos venido hablando, mis hermanos. Up to this point, we've been talking. Quizás tú te estarás preguntando. Maybe you're asking. Pero, Pastor Julio. But, Pastor Julio. ¿Cómo podemos crear este tipo de unidad? How do we create this unity? Queremos ser una iglesia fuerte. We want this Queremos ser una iglesia strong que church. Avancen. We want a church that Queremos moves forward, que that proclaims the name of God. ¿Cómo How do we esta create this unity? Y esta pregunta, mis hermanos, And nos this lleva question, al it just espiritual. leads us to the second principle. La unidad es un regalo. Unity is a gift. Bien. Listen carefully. La unidad unity es un regalo. is a gift. No tenemos que crear. We don't have to make it. Él nos lo ha dado. He has given to us la respuesta no es tan complicada. The answer is not that complicated. De acuerdo a la palabra de Dios, no podemos crear esta unidad. According to the word of God, we cannot create this unity. La unidad la recibimos. We receive this unity. Del Padre. From the Father. El apóstol Pablo. Apostle Paul. En Efesios capítulo 4. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 1. Al 3 nos habla de esta verdad. All the way to 3, he speaks about this truth. Y él dice lo siguiente. He says the following. Yo pues preso en As a Señor, prisoner for the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Verse 3, makes, it says the type of life that we, he, he wants us to have. He says, make every effort to keep unity of the Spirit. La unidad the Spirit, the el unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Hermanos, Our brothers and sisters, unity, como seres humanos, no la as humans, we cannot create it. Uno en Señor we are one in Jesus Christ our Desde Lord. El en que tú From the moment that we receive Christ vida, as a Savior, somos uno. we are one. Es por eso. And that's, this is why in the following verses the Apostle Paul keeps saying we are one body one spirit one hope one Lord one faith one baptism all these teachings that we've received from Jesus one baptism one God and Father of all who is over all and through all and in all 
Amén. Amén. Y hermano, este es un gran recordatorio This de is que a la wonderful reminder entre los creyentes no es algo que nosotros not creamos, we create, sino algo que Dios ha creado a través de God has created through his spirit. Pero ¿sabes qué? Do you know what? Nuestra responsabilidad. Our responsibility como iglesia, as a church, como hijos amados de Dios, as beloved children of God, es reconocer y mantener is to recognize and maintain it, esta unidad. This unity. Todo lo que está a nuestro alcance, Do everything possible para fortalecer esta so that we can strengthen this unity that Señor. God has given us. Que podamos celebrarla, mis hermanos, that we can como celebrate hoy estamos as celebrando. we are doing it. Amen. Amen. En lugar de intentar crear Instead of trying to create that unity por nosotros mismos. in our own efforts. La unidad entre los creyentes. The, the unity no meta, between hermano, believers. Alcanzar. It's a goal that we, es un hecho, not a goal to achieve. Es un hecho que It's a fact que to be recognized. Esta va más This allá unity de goes beyond the, the denominations. denominations. Y esta unidad, mi hermano, This unity is evident in the fellowship that can quickly develop it and believers of different races, different nationalities, languages, and economic classes. John, the apostle, he shows us what is going to happen in the future when we as a church one day they do not have, this day hasn't come yet but one day look what is going to happen Revelation chapter 7 verse 9 it says the following after this I looked and behold a great multitude that no one could number from every nation from all tribes and peoples and languages standing before the throne before the Lamb clothed in white robes with palm branches in their hands and crying out with a loud voice salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb my brothers and sisters we are one in Christ the Lamb of God has shed his blood to give us life eternal life, para darnos una familia, para darnos to give us a family, padre, la familia, a family la de that is the church of Amen. our Lord. Amen? Esta unidad, mis hermanos, This unity va más allá de goes beyond razos, different races, nationalities, nationalities languages, and economic Esto classes. Eso, que de tener This is hermano. why we must be careful Mucho cuidado cuando el enemigo, when the enemy listen carefully when the enemy rises to cast doubt over our unity. We are already one. Amen? We have to be very careful. He will do this through gossip, trying to, to destroy our unity. We are living in difficult times. A lot of times we think that Satan is only working in Vegas. But it's not true. Satan is here. Satan is at the White House. In those places where decisions are made it has to deal with a lot of people. Por eso, mis hermanos, yo, this is why, beloved, como pastor de hispana, as pastor of the Hispanic ministry, toda la iglesia de Dios, the whole church, que cuando estemos, that I call in the whole church, escogiendo, eligiendo a nuestros líderes, when we are choosing our leaders, que no nos llevemos, no seamos motivados, that we're not motivated hacer, and led, Solo por la necesidad. Only because of our own need. Solo porque necesitamos a alguien Only because que cubra we need somebody. Sino al contrario. On the contrary. Como la palabra de Dios nos As the word of God says. Estemos buscando hombres y mujeres. We're looking for men and women. De buen testimonio. Who have good testimony. Sean llenos del Espíritu Santo. Filled with the Holy Spirit. Llenos de sabiduría. Filled with wisdom. 
Porque sabes que de esa manera. Because in that way, vamos a fortalecer. We're going to be strengthen nuestra unidad. Our unity. Cuando el enemigo venga, mi hermano, When debemos de estar comes, firmes. We have to be firm. Y recordar siempre and estos versículos que hemos verses hablado that en we've talked about in Ephesians chapter 4. Somos uno. We are one. Nuestra unidad. Our unity. Un regalo. It's a gift of God. Y esto, mis hermanos, nos lleva a la siguiente. And this leads us to the next principio here. principle here. La unidad. Unity. No es lo mismo que it is not the same as uniformity. No es lo mismo. Donde todos tienen que pensar y actuar de it la misma manera. It is not the place where we must all think and act the same. Ustedes, Imagine that. Que todos nosotros sean Julio. Pastor that Julio. all of you are Julio. Qué aburrido sería, ¿verdad? That, how boring that would be. Imagínense ustedes que Imagine todos that. fueran como mi hermano Edgar. Like you would be like Brother Edgar here. Sería algo grande aquí. So con be, mucha bulla aquí en el be a, a a lot, a lot of noise here, but Pero ¿sabes qué? You know what? Nuestro Dios es un Dios Our God de la diversidad. Is God of diversity. Tú eres único para él. You are unique to him. Él tiene un propósito. He has a plan. Él tiene algo especial para ti. He has a special thing for you. Y no me estoy refiriendo, hermano, en cuanto a la prosperidad, prosperity. No. I'm not talking about él that. Tiene algo especial para ti, he has something para special su for reino. his people. Amen. Amen. La unidad Unity. Hermano, no implica que alguien le diga a otra persona. Doesn't it mean that you tell another person lo que tiene que hacer what to do or think. Muchos de los hermanos. Many of the brothers. Hispano, quizás, in your Hispanic hermanos, ministry, otros, maybe others from de, different places, de países, different countries. Totalitarian, we understand this. La no es eso. That's not unity. Eso es It's, that's uniformity. Pero no solamente lo vemos en la observación well, de, we don't de los see it in, in countries as we observe it. Pero también lo vemos en la palabra. We see it in the word of God. Recuerdan ustedes en los tiempos de Nimrod. Do you remember the times of Nimrod? Quien llegó a ser el primer poderoso en la tierra. Became the first powerful person on earth. Y quiso levantar un imperio. He raise up a new empire. ¿Y qué pasó en la tierra, en la torre de Babel? The Tower of Babel. Dios destruyó. ¿Verdad? ¿Sabes qué? En el futuro, you know what? Va in the future, the same thing will happen durante la tribulación. During the tribulation period. Donde el anticristo va a querer the levantar un hermano, gobierno mundial. One world government. Escúcheme bien. Listen to that. Unidad en Cristo es Unity vida. Christ is, es florecer. Flourish. Es crecer. Is to grow. Es progresar. Is to progress. Es proclamar. El, is to proclaim the gospel. La uniformidad del hombre es. The uni God's man's uniformity. It's not God's. En su lugar la unidad consiste en hermano. Unity en consists of. En acercarnos a pesar de nuestras diferencias. To draw to each other de in spite of our differences y comunes, y have the en same purpose to work in harmony que Dios nos ha dado to como Eshwe, accomplish como iglesia, the man. purpose that God has given us as a church. We may opinions, have differences, personalities, costumbres, customs, pero aún estamos unidos en but we're still united y in Christ and we can still work together para su reino. for His kingdom. Amen. Amen. Nuestro Dios, mi hermano, our God, Dios, is a God de diversidad. of diversity. A pensar, Have you thought about que cada una de las each of the stars? Las no they're not the same. Cada, cada tiene su gloria, each no star has its own Amen. way. A pensar de los copos Have, de you, nieve. Have you seen the, no hay dos copos de nieve the snow? All the snowflakes are not the same. They're all different. Each one are so different. Have you seen diamonds? They're not the same. Each one of them is different. Amen? That's the way we are. We're not the same. We are different. Because we have one Father. The God of diversity. 
He wants to work in an individual way, each one of us. Estos versículos que leí, these verses that we read, Revelation 7, in Revelation 6, chapter 7, encontré aquí algo tremendo. I found something really powerful. Cuando el apóstol Juan dice, when the Apostle Paul says, I saw a great multitude that nobody could number of all nations, tribes. The question that I asked myself, even in heaven, the church, we're not going to have one culture or one tongue. No, my brother. Dice diferentes, dice de todas We're las all different from different nations, y tribes, y tongues, peoples. Muchos estudiosos de la palabra de Dios Many dicen scholars que say that en el cielo, even in heaven, no haber comunismo. There is not going to be any communism. Sabías que en estos momentos, en estos momentos hay in diferentes times, rangos de ángeles. There is different ranks of angels. Y lo mismo va a ocurrir. And the same thing is going to happen with the nations. Plus, I was looking at these commentaries and I was a bit sad. You know why? I thought that the spoken language in heaven would be Spanish. I agree. <coughs> well, never mind. But even in heaven, all of us, brothers and sisters, we're going to be with him. Pero vamos a hacer lo mismo. Well, we're going to be the same. Some Americans, Hispanics, Hispanics Europeans. Europeans. Pero sabe qué? But you know what? Es en él. Our unity is in him. En el in the Amen. Lamb. Amen. No sé cómo nos vamos a I don't know how we're going to understand each other. Pero sabe qué? Es una, es una que That's a question. A punto, uh, at a certain point, un poquito it's a, it's a little bit difficult because God is almighty. Amen? Amen. Diversity. It takes us to the fourth principle. Diversity it's more effective. Makes us more effective. Amen. Makes unity more effective. Estar unidos, pero we ser want to be united. En el de and we want to be Dios. effective in the service of our God. No estar por estar we don't just want to be united queremos to be united. We need to be united to serve the Lord. You know why? God wants to use us. That's where we're all different. Our God is a God of diversity. Y mi hermana, la está llena de and the Bible is filled with examples. I'm just going to mention two due to time. First, Israel. Israel is a nation. It's a nation. But remember, it was made up of 12, 12 tribes. tribes. Each tribe has a specific piece of land. Each tribe has its own cultural background. Each tribe had, had their own accent. There was an opportunity to distinguish who was from Judah or Simeon in the way they spoke. Each tribe had unique abilities, skills, and specific tasks that were unique that God had given them. Twelve tribes. Con diferentes habilidades. With different abilities. Dios God los llevó a esta took them to this land. Y ellos conquistaron la tierra. Amen. Amen. Pero a pesar de estas diferencias, In spite of these differences, de esta diversidad, of this diverse Dios se mantenieron diversity, God maintained them. Unidos they were united a lo largo throughout de toda la historia. their history. Y ahora nuestros ojos and to our eyes we are seeing it. We know what's happening in the Holy Land. How this people are united, men and women. They, they, they come from all over the world because their nation it has a need. 
Amen. También se unieron en tiempos de necesidad. They united in, in times of need. Pero también tuvieron tiempos. They had times also para celebrar juntos. Como to celebrate together. Amen. Like ¿Cuántos ustedes están contentos? How many of you are happy? Gozosos, joyful to be participando de participating este servicio of this service. Unido. Or united. Pero el segundo ejemplo lo encontramos But en segundo ejemplo, Corintios, capítulo 12. We find it in 1 Corinthians 12. Donde el apóstol Pablo where Paul uses usa la analogía del the cuerpo analogy humano of the human body para, para ilustrar la importancia to illustrate the importance of diversity en la unidad. in unity. Ustedes saben, mis hermanos, que you know that. Our body que yo soy I am pastor, pastor por vocación. As vocational, Estoy convencido que el Señor me ha llamado. I am convinced that God has called me. Pero también soy médico. But I also, I'm a physician. Y cuando miré mi hermano, este, When I saw this, este ejemplo, this maravilla. example, it was just, I was marveled. Tan How great is our God. El Pablo, the Apostle Paul using the body to illustrate. Lo hermoso que es la How beautiful it is to have unity. We have one body with many members. It doesn't say that we're one member. Imagine that. That just an eye would just come in. Or just a leg. You know what? So the body would function properly. We have to have this diversity. Y el mismo the same principle applies to the church. Somos un con We are a body with uh, different needs. Como del As a pastor of the Hispanic church, Cada vez que veo una every time I see a need, veo una I also see an opportunity para rogar, rogar al Señor. To, play, to pray and ask God to raise hermano, hermano, his brother or sister para que nos ayude a to help us to help with that need. La diversidad no solo es buena, mi hermano. Diversity is not only good, sino que es esencial. it's essential. El cuerpo no puede funcionar the body cannot work correctly si todos somos manos, if we're all hands, si todos somos ojos. if we're all our eyes. El cuerpo debe tener the body must have Partes, different parts and gifts Lo contrario, no va a funcionar it will not work effectively como unidad, como cuerpo. as a body destino, it is destined for just destruction or death es lo que una and that's what happens when a person has cancer for example una célula what cell quiere dominar, has, wants to dominate takes control of everything all the blood and starts growing the same cell it's out of order bringing just death there's one more thing brothers and sisters diversity no descalifica un miembro del does not disqualify one body, one member from the body. Maybe you, brother and sister. Maybe you, you are, you have a gift when you feel like, like you don't have anything. When you compare yourself, maybe he, he speaks really well. And then you say, you feel that you don't belong Pero sabes que but you know what that's a lie Dios tiene algo he has something special Pero hay algo there's also something important el o el ojo no le puede decir the heart or the eye cannot say la mano. to the hand tú no eres because you're not corazón, heart o ojo. or eye tú no you don't belong here Al cuerpo, ¿verdad? to the body Right? The Apostle, Apostle Paul, 1 Corinthians 12, 22, 22 says, 
Antes bien, los on the contrary, del cuerpo que the parts of the body seem débil, to be weaker. Los miembros del cuerpo que parecen más the members of the body seem to be weaker. Son los más. They are They are indispensable. Y aquellos del cuerpo que no parecen o que nos parecen menos dignos. And those parts of the body that we think are less honorable. A estos vestimos we más dignamente. Y los que en nosotros no son, no son menos decorosos. Se tratan de con más decor. Modesty. Porque los que en nosotros son más decorosos. With our more presentable parts. No tienen necesidad. Do not require any. Pero Dios al but God cuerpo, has composed the body giving honor greater honor to the part que no haya it, en el that cuerpo, there may be no division in the body sino que los but that the members may have the same care for one another. Por los otros. El Last week we had el Edgar Brother Edgar preaching sobre cómo alcanzar how to reach the nations. It was wonderful. I wasn't here, but I listened to it. It touched my heart. I could say that the sermon that he gave was responsible for this sermon. When I came to this point, I raised my eyes. This verse 18 in 1 Corinthians 12. Listen. But, but as it is, but as it is, repeat. But as it is, it's not saying Juan, Carlos, or Clint, or Julio. But it's not saying somebody's name, Julio, or anyone, Clint. This is God has arranged the members in the body. Each one of them as he, as he chose. Here we are, brothers and sisters, in this church. Not because of man has allowed us to. We're here because God he has touched us. Y lo hizo porque él, and él because ha he has done this. A mi mente vino uh, to my mind came cuando when uh, a esta iglesia, we arrived at this church lugares, looking for different places donde el where to start the Hispanic ministry. El Señor nos guió a este lugar. And God led us here approximately 12 years ago. 12, 14 años. Well, we're 14 years. Y a Dios, Thank God. Y a de una hermana, que de and no through la a sister that was here, maybe some of you no era la más Maybe she wasn't the best equiped para to, dar la a que to give the welcome to these people. Pero sabes que a But you de know what? Through her, this hermana que la queremos, that amamos, we love, que la recordamos hasta that we remember until this day Señor nos dio la oportunidad de God estar gave aquí. us the opportunity to be here Ser parte de esta iglesia. be part of this church y a través de esta iglesia. and through this church Como nos pre nos predicó nuestro hermano. as brother preached us Tener la oportunidad de have the opportunity las to reach the nations Muchas veces many times que la palabra we think that the word of una nación, pero Hispanic no es así. is just one nation but it's not true Aquí en esta iglesia, a través del in this church, hispano, in this hispano, Hispanic ministry, we are reaching Dominicana, people from the Dominican Republic, de Cuba, from Cuba, de Mexico, from Mexico, de Honduras, from Honduras, de Nicaragua, from Nicaragua, de Guatemala, from Guatemala, de Peru, from Peru, de El Salvador, El Salvador, de Chile, from Chile, y esperamos que el Señor siga añadiendo. And we hope that God will continue to add more. Sabes que como iglesia, you know why as a church, como es good. Tenemos que estar contentos y celebrando que Dios ya está alcanzando a través de esta iglesia. Quiero que sepan ustedes you know que el ministerio hispano es los labios, es la mano, es los pies, 
feet que es good para alcanzar to reach the nations a las naciones. Tenemos una misión y esa misión mission, se centra en proclamar el evangelio de la salvación y vivir nuestras vidas de una manera que glorifique en el nombre de Dios. Y por último, lastly, la unidad unity es un regalo de Dios y hay que mantenerlo. That we must maintain. Y hay que fortalecerlo. We need to strengthen it. Nuevamente vamos a leer estos versículos. We read these verses in Ephesians chapter 4. Versículos 1 al 3. Verse 1 through 3. Les ruego, dice el apóstol Pablo, says the Apostle Paul, vivan a prisoner for the Lord. Con esa vocación, urge you to walk in a manner de unidad. worthy of the calling to which you have been called. Y luego en el versículo 2. And in verse 2, él nos habla cómo hacer esto. He says how to do it. Dice con toda, with all, humildad, humility, Mansedumbre, gentleness, soportándonos con paciencia los bearing unos a los with one another otros, in love. En amor. Y el primer elemento, mi hermano, es First thing that we need to do is have humildad. Humility. Y no hay cosa más grande en la vida, There's mi hermano, nothing como la palabra de Dios. That, and the word of God. Si queremos buscar If we la want definición to de las palabras, encontramos aquí. direction from the word of God. Filipenses capítulo 2, Philippians chapter 2, verse 2, all the way to verse 4, gives a definition of humility as we read these verses. Well, let's examine our hearts. If we are humble, the word of God tells us, feel, make my joy complete by being Teniendo el mismo amor, like minded, unánime, having the same love, sintiendo una misma cosa, being one in spirit, nada in one mind, do por not nothing out of selfish nada ambition por envidia, or vain, or vain nada conceit. Por pleitos, nada por vanagloria, don't do this, don't do out of selfish ambition, con rather in humility, estimando, value cada uno a los demás como others above Are yourselves, not looking to your own interest, but each of you of the interest of the others. In other words, listen to each other to take, make decisions. Are we listening to each other? Are we getting close to people in different ministries? Are we listening? Humility is recognizing the virtues. When it was the last time that you came to someone from another ministry and you said, it is wonderful to see this ministry. How many, when was the last time you did this? When was the last time that you come, came to a brother, a leader of a ministry? I am praying for you. When was the last time you did that? Humility is learning from each other. When was the last time that we talked to a leader? And it's wonderful that what's happening in your ministry. You know what? Tell me how, what you're doing. How God is leading you. Este resultado. So that I have the result. A lo mejor lo podemos aplicar. Maybe we can apply it. En este otro ministerio. In another ministry. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez? When was the last time you did that? Hicimos esto. That we did that. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez, mi hermano, que llegaste? When was the last time? Te acercaste a un hermano that you came close para fortalecerlo. To strengthen him. Para edificarlo. To edify him. Humildad significa. Humility means. Hacer todos los esfuerzos do all that is in our efforts para ayudar, to help them a los hermanos, a their brothers reach su their potential. Fue la última vez? When was the last time you did that? Humildad significa celebrar means victorias, to celebrate our victories pero también estar ahí, but also be there tiempos, for setbacks y saber que and let them know estamos felices that we're happy that you're part of us. Amen? El segundo elemento, Second element in the church 
Gentileza. Gentleness. La palabra griega que the Greek word translated is meekness. Dominio propio. Self control. Cuando practicamos, mi hermano, la, la when we practice meekness we are better equipped para poner a los demás to put others de before ourselves sus we listen to their perspectives y con con and we respond with grace fue la la vez? when was the last time que that que we show that to our brothers and sisters y el and the last element la patience bearing unos a otros. with one another in love. Hermana, Beloved, ¿cómo, cómo brother, this won't happen de la noche, la noche. from uh, just a day to process. El de el That's my desire in my heart that all of us we are growing en humildad, in humility, en in meekness, en in patience. Above all, in, in love for one another. If we do this, Vamos a mantener we will maintain la unidad the unity en el cuerpo de in the body of Christ. Si hacemos esto, if we do this, por supuesto que vamos a decir una iglesia course, unida, we're going to see a, a church that's united, una que avanza, a church that advances, una iglesia unida, a united, una iglesia que glorifica el nombre de Dios, glorifies God, una iglesia unida, a church, church that's united, una iglesia a church que proclama el glorioso proclaims Evangelio the glorious Señor, gospel of our Lord, una iglesia unida, a church that's united, una iglesia que hace temblar is that la rodilla, makes the enemy tremble God bless his word. God bless each one of your lives. 